So, these are Grimm's two sisters, Sarah and Angelina. Um, they were daughters of a very wealthy slave owner in the South, and um, so they had first-hand experience with slavery, and they were primarily, or they were, first off, they were abolitionists, um, because they took a trip to Pennsylvania and became Quakers, and they were, um, they were uh, influenced by Quakerism to become abolitionists. And so they used slavery um, and their work as abolitionists as kind of a springboard to become uh, feminists um, because they felt that there should be equality for all and um, women they felt were part of a minority. Um, and so they began um, holding lots of seminars and going around to many conventions all around the North and speaking about um, feminism. And uh, they were subjected to a lot of crit criticism because they were not very feminine and they were not upholding sort of modest and delicate way, these ways of nature that women should be according to society. Um, but instead of being put off by all of this, they were in fact um, more motivated to keep on pushing for women's rights. And um, they, they were credited with um, coming up with uh, equal pay for equal work, um, which was kind of a stab at institutions, and uh, because they called for, um, they said that uh, you know whatever women can do, men the they can do equally as well as men, and so they mainly preached the, they mainly talked about the rights for debate, to be educated, to have social benefits, um, equal work for equal pay, and equality for all. Um, 